Hi my loves, how's it going? How you guys doing? So welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be starting like a new sort of like general series for my channel. Um, and this is going to be focused in and around books. I don't think I'm going to specifically niche into her books, but I would like to kind of talk a little bit about them. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I have a bit of a problem in terms of like reading. I have a lot of books. But unfortunately most of them are unread and I have been stuck in a reading rut for quite a long time and I'm sort of just slowly trying to get out of it now. Um, I feel like the last like good reading year I had was like a good couple of years ago which is not ideal. This year I have been focusing and trying to get back into reading but it has been a challenge and it's only recently where I feel like I've probably gotten through the most amount of books that I have like physically reading them so that's been quite nice. There was another booktuber that I was kind of like, I've recently like discovered and I've just been enjoying her sort of like reading vlogs and also um, I got inspiration to start this series from her. I've forgotten her name, I'll add it here but I'll also link her channel down below and um, basically so what she's doing is all the books that are unread on her bookshelves she's going to focus on reading them all by the end of the year and then she's going to decide whether or not she wants to keep them or not, I think that's what she said essentially but she had about like 200 something books. She can probably fly through them because I feel like she's like a really fast paced reader and she's been reading like, if you're somebody who's been reading like a lot, you can quite read, you can kind of read fast. Whereas I have been stuck in a reading rut and I read slow anyway because I feel like I kind of get lost. Then I have to sometimes go back and read what I've read. But yeah, um, so I honestly got inspiration for this from her channel. There is no way I'm going to be able to read through all of my unread books by the end of the year. But this is going to turn into like a sort of like a rolling like series that I might update every couple of months or like every month. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I kind of figure out as I go, depending on how much I read. I have all sort of like the figures of my bookshelves and numbers that I need as well to kind of talk to you guys about. Then I'll show you guys all the books I'm going to focus on for the first sort of like, like for the first episode, I guess. So... I did a book on a haul last year in October time and I kind of counted up all the books I had. At that time, in total, I had 288 books. After my unhaul, I had 279. Of those, I had 232 that were unread, which is quite a lot. Um, in June, I have recently counted up everything that I have and in total, I have 309 books. So I did add like 34 books into this series. Also, I did give some to my cousin to read and she's returned some of those back to me. So I've added those into the collection. Um, I have 51 books that I've read that I'm still sort of keeping at the moment. And those that are not read are 258. That's a lot of books that are unread. And of those, there's 91 books that I'm sort of like, I really want to focus on reading getting them out of my collection so yeah that's a lot of books um there are 91 books on my bedside table i want to read them to kind of figure out what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep i feel like it's going to be like a split half of them are going to end up going and half of them i'll probably end up keeping but that's okay i will probably do like a big unhaul at some point as well but i'm hoping i can get through and at least read as many books as possible before i do that um but yeah so that's kind of like the starting figures that I have, 258 unread books is a lot of books and I want to get this down. I don't know how quick I can get this down. Ideally, I would like to get it down to like at least 250. That'd be quite nice, but I feel like if I continue to read the way I have been reading in the last like, so like week or so, I think it could go down even further. So like my initial goal is to get this down to having unread 250 books. And then after that, it's going to be to have 225 books unread by the end of the year at the, at the minimum. So let's see. I'm not sure how often I'm going to update this, um, but for sort of like the month of July, for the most part, I have six books already that I'm going to focus on. I am currently reading the Wolf Brother series. I picked this up recently from the works because it's something that I've read, like I read the first book years and years ago. And I really want to finish it off because I loved it at the time and I've been really enjoying reading it now. So these are the six books that I left in that series that I'm going to be reading. I have made a start on Outcast, so I'm really hoping to fly through this book as well. And then after that, I'll be reading Oathbreaker, 
which is like book I think five in the series then it's ghost hunter and then viper's daughter and then we've got skin taker and wolfbane so far is the last book in that series so the goal is to sort of focus on finishing these six books over the next month or so and then i will do like a check-in at, at some point once i've like read these books and then i can pick another like a couple of books to read so that's kind of just like a really quick wrap up of this i'm really looking forward to doing this sort of like series i think this would be something fun for me to like also kind of post about and then kind of talk about it too and hopefully it encourages me to continue reading um i've been really enjoying watching like people's reading blogs so maybe i might do some of those myself at some point i'm not really sure but i am really looking forward to that but those are all the books that i'm going to focus on for the time being um that is also going to be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, if you did, make sure you subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. Also, check out my Goodreads. I'll have that link down below. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. I'll catch you next one. Bye.